The message this morning is uh, about uh, humility, uh, uh, dominion through humility. Uh, it is, a, I think, a very important subject, and I think uh, we talked about it before in uh, our uh, life class. And uh, when uh, Pastor Godwin told me to uh, prepare the message, uh, that this one came again in my mind because uh, I esteem that it is uh, the message that is very important, the, 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 the topic of uh, humility. Humility is very important because uh, uh, God has given us uh, the dominion, but uh, we lost it because of uh, lack of uh, immunity. And uh, I estimate the, today, this uh, if uh, I get lost in my uh, teaching and uh, uh, just keep this in mind, in the kingdom of God, uh, the way up is down. The way up is down. That is uh, the, the way Jesus has taught us. And uh, it's through humility that you can have dominion. And this message is, uh, I estimate it, that is important because uh, in uh, the light of the scripture and uh, even uh, in our humble experience in Christianity, I think uh, one of the most important character required for uh, every believer to walk in uh, righteousness with God is humility. Without humility, you have a problem to follow God. And uh, the lack of humility, as we call it pride, is uh, especially false humility, is a, uh, a major obstacle uh, that in uh, the, the walk with God. And it can compromise God's purpose, that is uh, our dominion. So we are uh, in generation today uh, that uh, the word whatever is become uh, very popular and uh, the word more I'm sorry uh, lost uh, its value because it doesn't come from the uh, repented heart. It doesn't come before, from the repented heart. And uh, always God tells us he, he judge intention of man. And the problem is uh, when we uh, are uh, careless with uh, what we do, what we say, uh, mostly we come to whatever became more popular than uh, I'm sorry and uh, I want to follow God uh, 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 with, uh, and follow the righteousness way of God. So it is uh, very important also because uh, pride, I think, uh, in my humble opinion, is a, a, a cancer that is destroying first an individual family, an individual person, and uh, uh, in another level, it's destroying family, and uh, also even ministries. We see uh, on an individual level, it is very difficult to obey the ways of God and you even to understand what God is telling you when you are proud. There is a lack of communication that is set up in when you are proud. In the families, it is very difficult now to have a good communication when there is a pride that is set in. It is very difficult now for even our sisters to call their husband the Lord. But uh, uh, we know, uh, when we read, uh, I think, in the first Peter 3, the, the Peter says, you, you have to call your husband Lord. So it is very difficult. It is very difficult to a husband who is proud to say sorry to her, his, his wife. And uh, when that starts, is the way, the highway for the devil to enter in the house and destroy the family. How many children are now very difficult to, to, to respond when their parents tell them something? 
We know in Ephesians uh, 6, uh, where we say your oh, children obey your parents. Give them honor because that is the way, the only way, uh, only, 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 uh, uh, Committed that the, the only 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 uh, law that is uh, come with the promise, but uh, how many now we see outside here even in, in this uh, America we are many children are, are no more uh, obedient to their parents they don't know even those who are grown up I see many uh, coming to visit uh, even uh, their the, the children with big houses they go to hotel because there is no no honor anymore and the, in the ministry we can see uh, how, when we go online how many uh, preachers pastors men of God genuinely men of God destroying each other why because there is pride and uh, you think when the message is not yours is not the, from God. So it is a very difficult, and I think that is the cancer that is undermining now the the, the body of Christ because pride close your ears, and when you all, you don't have humility, you can't listen to the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is the only one who can help you uh, take the difficult uh, step to listen the one who have a different opinion. So, this is said, we, 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 we are talking about dominion, but uh, what is dominion uh, means for uh, us believers, what dominion means? Of, of course, we know that we, can, uh, uh, we talked about this, and uh, I think uh, Pastor God, when he teach about uh, dominion uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, we know what is about. But the biblical definition is uh, the, the right to dominate and possess absolute control over the entire earth. That was the intent of God from the beginning in Genesis 1 26, where he, he, he gave, he created man and gave him dominion. But we know that by, by reading the Bible how the man lost that uh, dominion and he became uh, now. Uh, under submission of uh, the devil, but uh, grave, thanks God, Jesus came back and uh, gave us back that dominion. So we, we are, uh, if I can uh, say, we, we uh, the, uh, summarize a little bit that that dominion is a, uh, have a four dimension. Uh, there is a four dimension of dominion. Is a dominion over the land, over the resources. Over the mindset and the belief, belief system, and there is a, also dominion over uh, men and, uh, and nations. So the devil wanted to accaparate all those uh, four dimensions and uh, lift us with uh, nothing. And uh, there is uh, four ways, four, four pillars, I can say, uh, of dominion. Uh, you, is a true growth, a personal development. And it is a, 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 a Roman 12 tell us, uh, do not conform to the world, but uh, be transformed by renewing your mind. So if your mind is not renewed, as a born again, you can't, uh, you can't have dominion. And uh, there is a dominion through wisdom is a, and excellency. There is also dominion uh, for uh, through wealth and abundance. And there is uh, also dominion uh, through supernatural, uh, when we see signs and wonders, so those those are uh, in summary four of those uh, uh, dominion we are talking about. So, uh, and the immunity by definition, what do we think? We, what do we, we we understand by immunity? Immunity, uh, what uh, is, is is not forced. It is not a low self-esteem. It is not a timidity. Because the Bible tells us in Timothy 1.7, 2 Timothy 1.7, he said that God didn't give us the spirit of fear, don't the spirit of, of, but the spirit of self-control. So when you, 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 you are 
Timid is not uh, you are righteous or you are you are you are humble. It is because that you 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 have a, a, a real problem. So is even what the sometimes come we call a false humility, humility. So humility in itself is is meekness. It is the attitude of submission to the authority. So is without a personal uh, 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 pride. So the attitude to to be humble. Uh, literally, it is face down when you you go in a, uh, the, the 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 root root the root of uh, the, the, that word is a, is a, uh, the, the 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 biblical de the definition of uh, humility is the fear of the Lord as it is described in a, in a, in a Proverbs twenty two four that humility is the fear of the Lord and its wages is are riches and honor and life. But we can't talk uh, immunity, humility without talking about pride. Mm -hmm. That is excessive self-esteem and false uh, humility. Also, that we call proud, pride. So, is the elevation uh, of uh, one uh, opinions or thoughts above the authority of the word of God? That is the biblical uh, definition of uh, pride. So. Pride, as I just defined it in my introduction, it is a, it, it is a, it has a, it, it is a big problem for uh, believers, and uh, there are uh, dangers I can re record that uh, prevent us to have those dominion, because when you you have a pride, uh, God resists you. We see that in James four six, the word tells us uh, that God resisted the pride but lift up the humble. That is a, 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 a big problem. When God uh, resists you, it is a big problem. It is a, even better you be, you be attacked by a devil because you can cast the devil out. But when God resists you and you don't know is God resisting you, it is a big issue because uh, God is a powerful and there is nothing that can save you out of him. So if he is the one who resists you, you are in a big, big trouble. So wisdom is that uh, when, when you, you, you have pride, the second uh, issue is uh, the, the wisdom is hidden from you. So we can see in Psalm 14.1, the word of God tells us, the fools say there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are uh, vile. There is no one who does good. That is uh, uh, the, the problem of pride. When you, you are proud, you, you don't have uh, the, 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 you can't have wisdom. They don't go together. Because of proud, the, the pride make you uh, believe in your own, own opinion. No one else has something right. It is you only. So the wisdom is away from you because uh, the Holy Spirit can't speak to you and it's, uh, the Holy Spirit is the, the wisdom of God. Uh, so the second, the third danger I just uh, find out also is uh, you are an easy target of deceiveness. The deceive, you, 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 are, uh, you, you lack a discernment and uh, you, uh, you, you, you trust in your own wisdom. But when we read uh, uh, Proverbs 3, uh, 5, it say, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your understanding. Because when you lean on your understanding, not the understanding of God, you, you can be deceived easily. And when we read in uh, Jeremiah 17, uh, the word of God uh, tells us that uh, the, the heart is deceitful, beyond measure. Who can tell? The, uh, that means when you are, uh, you, you, you are, uh, you are proud, it is easy for you to be deceived. Uh, and the, 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 the other issues, when you are, the danger of pride is ingratitude. You cannot appreciate the blessing of God in your life. You think you, you succeed by your own strength. By doing so, you steal, you, you steal the glory of God. That is a, also a danger for uh, believers because 
when uh, there is a pride, you can't appreciate the goodness of God. And it is a big problem. So the last uh, issue I recorded is uh, you are doomed to destruction. Proverbs 16, 18 tell us that uh, pride goes before destruction and the hearty spirit before a fall. So when you, 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 the, the, the pride set in, you are doomed to destruction. You are heading to destruction. And no one can stop you because it is, you will not believe anybody. So it is, a, it is a problem. And we can see it very easily in our daily life. So why the humility is so important for our dominion? And why when we say dominion and humility is a two opposite word. Because the dominion means you, 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 you are over. And, and, but humility is telling you you have to go down. Is I started saying the, 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 in this kingdom of God, the way up is down. Is why Jesus told us you have to, the, 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 the greatest will be the, 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 the humble one. So, we, we can see uh, this dominion, why the dominion, uh, why humility is so important for our dominion. Because from the beginning, as I said in uh, Genesis 1 is 26, the, uh, uh, God steered the land law of the earth, even though he gave dominion to men. So only the submission to God gives you, to give the men the authority and the power to exercise the dominion. So when we read in Psalm uh, 115, uh, the verse 16 tells us, the highest heaven belongs to the Lord, but the earth he has given to the mankind. So the, the God is still in heaven, he, but he is the landlord. He's the, like uh, when you are renting an apartment, you, the, that apartment uh, you, are, uh, you are the... The temporary owner I can tell, but the landlord is the, the, the one who built those apartments. So God gave us dominion, but he's still the one we, we, we rely on to know even how to lead that, 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 uh, that, uh, the, the, that earth he has given us to dominate. So we read also in Psalm 24, 1, it say the, the earth is the Lord and everything in it belong uh, is, uh, in the world, and uh, all, all who live in it belong to God. So how humility now sustain our dominion? So the poster of uh, humility give us the, uh, some privileges. And uh, the one, uh, the privilege I recorded is uh, to hear and uh, to learn from God. When uh, you have the, 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 the humility, you can go to God and listen to him. When we read Psalm 25, 9, he says, The humble I will guide in my righteousness. The humble I will teach my ways. We read in the Psalm 1037 that the children of God, God has shown show the children of Israel his deeds. But to Moses, one we record in the Bible is the most humble person never recorded in the Bible. God showed him, show him his ways. So we see when we, we humble ourselves, when we humble ourselves, the Bible teaches us that God will talk to you. God, God can teach you his ways. So the second privilege we have is, uh, the second privilege we, 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 we have is, uh, we can, when you are humble, you can completely depend on God for protection and guidance. So Psalm 91, many knows by, by heart. So then, uh, tell us that uh, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will dwell in the shelter of the Most High. So that, that means when you are uh, under, you are humble, uh, God protects you. And uh, there is a verse that says, he, uh, I think it's 11, uh, 9, 1, 11. That, that say he will send his angels to protect you. 
Psalm 24, 4 uh, to 5, he say, the, 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 the word of God tell, tell us that uh, I sought the Lord and he, 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 he answered me. And he, 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 and he, 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 he delivered me from all my fears. Not only God uh, can protect you from your foes, but he can also deliver you from your fears. Because the fear of uh, in the heart is the dangerous things we can experience. So we, we see now when we are uh, uh, humble, we, we have that uh, privilege to be uh, completely protected by God. And uh, we, we, we know also the third privilege I recorded is uh, to wait we have the privilege to wait on God for promotion and elevation. So we see in First Peter 5, 6, the word of God tells us, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that he can lift you up in due time. This is a, a promise, and the God, the God honored this. He, he, pro, he promotes you when you, 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 you stay with him. And the, 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 the third uh, uh, privilege we have when we, 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 we are humble is to receive the counsel from God. I just quote the proverb 3 5. Trust in the Lord with your, your heart and he will give you the uh, trust, uh, trust the Lord and do not lean on, on your understanding, but in all way, your ways uh, acknowledge him and he will lead your path. So he, he will, you, you will walk under the counsel of God if you, you are humble. And uh, another one uh, I just recorded was uh, is, uh, the, 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 the privilege to let God win the battles for your life. We know uh, Psalm uh, 34, 7, that uh, uh, tell us uh, the angels of the Lord encamp around the, uh, those who fear him. Mm? And uh, Psalm 91, 11, he will command his angels to, uh, concerning you. Mm? So that this is a, 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 a done deal. God is a, is a, is a, a, can win your battles. We have seen in the Old Testament when we we, we read the Second Chronicle twenty twenty how uh, Jehoshaphat was uh, under siege from uh, many kingdoms that made a coalition against him. But uh, what they did was praising God and trusting Him. And they, he win the battles. The, the, the God win the battles. When they wake up in the morning, the the the, the, the enemy uh, army was destroyed completely. So the, those are the facts that uh, the, the the Bible record for us. And uh, another uh, privilege we have when we we are humble is uh, to have the privilege to praise God and provoke God favor. So we see when we have God's favor, there are many even uh, challenges, even uh, many uh, things that uh, we can't uh, naturally do that are possible. God uh, do, do those things for us. So we, the, when you see even somebody who have uh, things that uh, humanly are uh, supernatural, it is not uh, the, 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 the strength of man, it is uh, the, the favor of God. So the, the, those favor come when you humble before him. And uh, another, and, uh, another the, the, the last privilege I can, the, you can, there are so many, but uh, the, the one I end with is uh, God honor you and exalt you, uh, exalt you the, when you, 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 you humble yourself. And this is the example in the word we read this morning uh, from Philippians 2. And uh, this is the example of Jesus. So, the example of Jesus when he when he when he when he come the, the scripture in the, the, this uh, uh, Philippians two uh, tell us that uh, Paul is giving us the recipe, the recipe how believers should walk in dominion by following the path of uh, Christ. I, 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 I started uh, in my introduction saying that uh, the, the, it does, it does, the question is not who influences you, 
the, the question is not uh, uh, that you will be influenced. The question, the, the question is uh, who is influencing you. So when we see the Bible, uh, Jesus Christ came and take the 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 the, the form of man, so that uh, we can show us that uh, we can succeed, we can trust God and do mighty things, and uh, we can be exalted. And he, he didn't make a, he, he take this by using himself as an example of, of humility. He humbled himself even to be treated as a servant. And he knew he was God, knowing he was God, but he, he, he went through the, 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 the test and he was, he gave example. He went, he didn't go halfway. He went to the cross. So, uh, and uh, also this example is the, the only one who went through the, this and it succeeded. So it is why we can't have to, we, we better follow his example because he went through and in the, in the, in the end of the, the course. So, uh, Paul is revealing us now in this, uh, this uh, scripture, the, the weapon Jesus used is completely to submit in humility to the Father, sovereign will. We know it was not easy. When we read in Luke 2, 22, 42, uh, the word of God tells us uh, the Father, uh, when Jesus was challenged before he got to the cross, he prayed that, 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 that prayer, Father, if you are willing, take the cup from me. But he said, yet not my, my will, but your will be done. That is that is was uh, the, 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 the challenging moment. God, Jesus himself as a human went through. He wanted even uh, the, the Father to change the 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 the, the, the plan, but uh, he said in in humility, not my will, but your will be done. And it is it is why when he went uh, all the way. We got that salvation we are uh, uh, proud of today. So, in conclusion, who is the man and the woman of God who can uh, humble themselves? I said that this is a, a, a very important matter. It is a very important uh, uh, war we are uh, waging against the enemy against even ourselves. So uh, the men and the women of God who can uh, uh, humble themselves is the man uh, who are, is ready to die on self. And that is the challenge. That is a big issue. Many people go through deliverance, but uh, I think the most uh, difficult deliverance is from ourselves. So it is a very difficult because we accept ourselves and we live with ourselves and we are so happy with ourselves. So it is very difficult to uh, to die on ourselves. But the word of God, that Jesus said in in in, in Luke nine uh, twenty three, He said, "Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up the cross daily and follow me." This is a, the, 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 the only way we can succeed in this uh, uh, war we are raging and uh, to get back our dominion and to act as a Christian that God accept. And uh, the, the, the second uh, one is uh, one, uh, the man or the woman of, of God who is hungry to serve and to be used by God. That is the only the way that, uh, God, that, that you can uh, challenge yourself. Because if you, 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 you are a servant, you, 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 you are on the, the lowest position, humanly speaking. But in the kingdom of God, you are the winner. It's why Jesus said in Matthew, the word of God, the scripture tells us in Matthew 23, 11, the greatest among you will be the servant, will be your servant. So is a, you remember even when Jesus, the, 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 the son of Zebedee, I think, 
they were uh, the mother was asking Jesus because they thought he was the king of the world. They say, "Who can my son be on your right and the, the other son be on your left?" So they were fighting to for position. And Jesus uh, said, "Are they willing to, to drink my cup?" But at the end, you know, because the the, the, the disciples were uh, Jarus and talking to each other, who will be the, the rest, and he told them, "Who want to be first? Let them be the servant." And uh, this is a, a, a good way to be uh, in the, 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 the God uh, rather if you want to be great in this kingdom, be the servant. So uh, w w in the, the last one, I recorded the, uh, the woman of, uh, and the man of God who want uh, really to be humble, who can be humble, is the one who really fear God and tired to be a lukewarm Christian. One of the men uh, I respect in the, the ministry has said the, the passion, the, manifesting, the manifestation of love is a passion. So when you love God and you are passionate about what concerns God, the passion uh, will push you. The passion for the Lord will, will cause you to accept to be a mockery among your, 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 your friends. The passion for the Lord will be uh, your, 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 your strength to, be, uh, to accept the, the mockery from your co-workers. The passion for the Lord will be even uh, your strength to, be, to accept the mockery from your relatives. This will require humility and courage, but it is the price to pay to have that dominion we are, we are claiming. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, in the light of this message, to seek that, that, that uh, uh, humility and stature before the Lord. We, and the way we can do it is to recognize that it, it, there is a struggle. There is a struggle all of us we face. Men, men of God, preachers or regular, pure, regular Christian, the, we have that struggle. And uh, even non-believers have a struggle to believe because sometimes the enemy show them that they are enough. They don't need God. And the Christian, even when they are uh, in the, 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 the already saved, they still have the struggle and the enemy is still pushing that button of pride into their heart so that they can say, okay, I, I depend on God when I'm in church, but when I go out, I can deal with life but with my own wisdom. That is a, a challenge for everybody. That is a challenge for you, church goers and non church goers. And the, the only way we can uh, face that problem is to remember that we are not alone. There is a, a, a helper, Jesus promised before you go back in his glory. He promised to give us the Holy Spirit. And it has been done when we read the Acts. We know he sent the, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is among us. And is, is the only one, the only one who is able to help us to go uh, beyond and get our, our, our to overcome the, 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 the force of the enemy that will bring always that pride to weaken us. So we have to remember that the Holy Spirit is available. The Holy Spirit is ready to help us to overcome and to swallow our pride and be humble before God so that we can be really have the real dominion. But we have also to remember it is a daily fight. It is not something that we can just do and it is settled. It is sealed. It is something we, we battle every day. 
and we have to remember that Proverbs 8, 24 to 26 tell us uh, the wisdom. It says, blessed are those who listen to me. That is uh, Proverbs 8 is mostly the uh, proverb that brings a lot of uh, most of uh, wisdom, uh, the wisdom speaking. So, is blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. And in verse 35 it says, those who find me, find life and receive favor from the Lord. But those who don't find me, harm themselves, and uh, those who hate me love death. So keep this in mind as we go. The, 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 the word of God is telling me, the, 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 the wisdom of God tell, is telling us, if you breathe on me, if you find me, you have life and you have honor, you have favor from God. When you have God favor, there is nothing else you will look for after. Money can't come, can't buy this. The favor of God, money can't can't, can't satisfy than the, the favor of God. So as we we, we, we we close this, also I want to read the, the word in Isaiah 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 sixty six, the last book of Isaiah, and it it, it tells us. Uh, this is the word of the Lord. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my first stool. Where is the house you build for me? Where is my resting place? Has not my hand made all these things? And so they came into being, the cried the Lord. These are the one I look on. Uh, these are the one I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my word. That is the word I just leave with you today. I pray that God will give you strength to be humble and to rely on the Holy Spirit so that you can succeed. And this is only possible if you Accept Jesus Christ as uh, your Lord and Savior. There is no nothing that can help you to be humble in this world until you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. 